more and more people are having voice issues after COVID. In the next five minutes, I am sharing five factors affecting vocal health after having COVID. And one of them is muscle tension. If you want access to a blueprint of how I help people with vocal tension, let me know in the comments. Hi, my name is Katerina and I am the founder of Vocal Freedom System for the Speaking Voice, where I help people reduce tension, strain or even pain when speaking and get them back to speaking with a strong voice that lasts. And in the next five minutes, let me tell you why our voices may be taking longer to recover from COVID. Here are five things to consider. Number one, post-COVID viral paresis. Paresis means that the vocal fold is not moving to the center and therefore it's more difficult to produce a clear, non-breathy sound. There are more and more people who have paresis post-COVID, but it, it's not easy to spot it because it often becomes obvious only after a fatiguing vocal task. That's why it's important to see a laryngologist for a proper voice assessment. Number two, persistent sinusitis and post-nasal drip. A long-lasting inflammation is very typical for people post-COVID. Dripping of mucus from the back of the nose can cause coughing or throat clearing, which are behaviors that can lead to vocal fold swelling. Good nasal hygiene is important in this case to keep the nasal passages clean with nasal rinses. Or speak to your doctor about using some medications to keep your nose clean. We also know that laryngitis or the inflammation of the vocal folds lasts longer in COVID than in other viral infections. A normal cold usually goes away after a week or two. Laryngitis during COVID can take longer so be patient. Number three, acid reflux. It seems that there is more people with voice problems due to acid reflux after COVID. And that's because during the sickness, people's diets change. There is more stress, less time to cook, less movement. In case of acid reflux, speak to your doctor about possible solutions, but it's important to know that voice problems due to acid reflux can take at least three months to resolve. So again, patience is important. Number four, emotional stressors. I feel like this is a very underestimated factor. Emotions can create a lot of tension around the, the larynx and the throat. Many people experience depression post COVID or other mental health issues. It's important not to overlook this factor and seek professional help. Don't dismiss it. Emotions can greatly affect the voice. And if we don't consider emotions when dealing with voice issues, we are not looking at the whole picture. Number five, muscle tension and muscle tension related voice issues. If voice is affecting during COVID and people continue using it either for work or other reasons, they may push more, squeeze more to produce a clear voice. And if they use their voice in this way for a prolonged period of time, these inefficient motor patterns can get ingrained and they can start impacting day-to-day -day living. The voice can get tight or uncomfortable or even painful. The good news is that with the right approach, it's possible to retrain the voice to work with more efficiency and less impact on the vocal folds. Okay, if you want a blueprint of how I help my clients get rid of vocal strain, tension, or even pain when speaking so that they can get back to speaking without worrying about their voice, let me know in the comments and I'll send it to you. See you in my next video. Bye.